speleothems, which are unique rocks that you find forming in caves underground, are another interesting source of information for climatologists to determine climate in the past. So if you've ever visited a cave, you know that it feels like you're out of normal space and time because it's dark and you can't really tell the time of day and it looks nothing like the land above the, the cave. And in many ways you are outside of normal space and time. The rock formations in caves, which are called speleothems, uh, these include stalactites, which hold tight to the top of a cave, and stalagmites, which form on the bottom surface of the cave, and uh, there's other formation names. These form very slowly. Because the speleothems form from minerals that are brought to the cave from groundwater that enters the cave from above, they form more quickly when there is a lot of water entering the cave. So you can visualize these, these formations in the picture on the slide on the left. Um, and again, this is a stalactite, so the water is entering the cave from above, bringing minerals down and then adding to the speleothem onto the tips. So if we couple information about the age of the rock using radioactive element analysis with the rate of growth of the formation that we find in the cave at each point in time, scientists can learn a lot about the amount of moisture that was present in the ground above the cave at different times in history. And so you can see here on this graph, you can see how um, there was different levels of moisture present and that caused the, the speleotherms to grow either more quickly or more slowly depending on how much water was present. So when we see a peak, that means that there was a lot of uh, rock added to the speleothem at that point in time, and so there was a lot of moisture above the cave at that time. 